Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, for, the, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Samaya. I am a small business owner. I own multiple multi-needle embroidery machines. And today I'm gonna be doing glitter embroidery and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my glitter embroidery. So I have a little sweatshirt for my daughter and she wants Hello Kitty. And I found this little Nike swoosh Hello Kitty thing. It's not for sale, obviously, it's just for my daughter, so I'm gonna make it for her. So without further ado, let's get to it. And I'm sorry if I sound so out of breath, I'm pregnant and I'm just tired. All right, so for today's video, you're gonna obviously need um, a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or whatever thing you wanna use. You'll need an embroidery hoop. Um, I'm gonna use this five by seven hoop. You can order these from Amazon or, um, I mean, your local embroidery store, you can get it from there. You'll need a piece of stabilizer or two pieces, whatever you guys like to do. You'll obviously need some glitter. So these are some of the colors that I'm gonna be using today. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Um, this is that little Cricut thing to peel off the, the glitter. And obviously we're gonna use some embroidery thread. And I can link these down below where you can get these big spools of embroidery thread. Otherwise, if you'd like to use the small ones, you can get them off Amazon. I do have a link for that. All right, you guys, let's get to it. All right, so I hooped my daughter's sweatshirt. I got it where I want it, and I'm gonna take it to the machine. Alrighty. I'm gonna put it in the machine. I'm gonna make sure it's not connected from the bottom. And I'm gonna add my pieces of stabilizer. I like to use two pieces of stabilizer, especially on fabric that is a little thin like this one. And I got these off Sheen, so it's not like the best quality. So it's going to first do the rundown stitch. That's where I know where to put it. So I'm going to let that do that first. So the machine stopped. So now I'm going to go cut the glitter and make sure it fits the size of that little swoosh right there. So I want the swoosh to be pink. So I'm going to cut this. And we really don't need much, but I'm going to cut this, this much out. And I still think that's a lot, so I'm going to cut it in half. And you guys, there's no need to waste glitter for no reason. So if you can save, that's great. So I'm going to use this little cricket hook thing. I'm not sure what that's called. Oh, my bad. And I'm going to take off that little piece of plastic. And now we're going to go place that on our sweatshirt. I'm going to test it and see if it fits, and it does. So you could either leave it there and place your finger there so it doesn't move, or you could use glue. And this is um, a glue that you can get from Michael's or from um, Amazon. But yeah, you could also like put this in the back of it, like a smudge down there, and put it there. I might do it for the next shot for you guys to see. But I'm going to leave it just like that. And I want a hot pink Actually, I might change it to a light pink. I really don't want a hot pink. So, I'm gonna let it embroider a pink on top. And it doesn't usually move, but sometimes it could, so it's just better to be safe than sorry. All right, it's done. I actually, I got, I got a phone call and this accidentally went over the pink, which is not a big deal. It, accidents can happen. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would fix it. So it kind of did her face, which is not a big deal. We can just peel it off. So in an ideal world, this wouldn't have happened, but I got a phone call and I wasn't really looking at the machine, but it's okay. It's my fault. I should have put um, pause, but it's okay. So we're gonna rip around it. And this is so satisfying, you guys. <laughs> And as you see, um, it didn't rip, it didn't come out her face, which isn't a big deal. We can kind of just rip it. And gently so we don't pull the hoop out. So now we're gonna move to her face. So I cut out a piece of white glitter and that fits her face. So I'm just gonna peel off the plastic. And same thing, I'm gonna place it right over there. I'm really annoyed by this stain right there. I'm not sure where that came from. And I have my glitter covering her face. So 
Now I want it to stitch her face in black, so I'm just gonna click go. All right, you guys, so it's done. And now I'm gonna rip off this glitter right here. I do like to do this on a table because it gives more stability um, versus when you're doing it when you're doing it like with your hands and then you can accidentally take the hoop off the shirt and then you just ruin everything. So um, if you could try to put it on a table. So I'm gonna use this cute little glitter thing. I got like a pack of five off Amazon. I'll link them down below. Um, I totally forgot about her bow color. So I'm gonna take that out and cut a little piece for her bow. And that looks like more than enough. So I'm gonna put some of that glue that I told you guys about um, on the back of this. So here it is. I'm just gonna put a little smudge on the back, as you can see, and cover that up. And I'm gonna put it right here, just to show you guys how you can place it and it won't move if you're scared of putting your finger or anything. There you go. I could honestly just rip it while it's on here. So there's that. And now the way I have my design going, it's gonna do her facial features and then come back to her little nose. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click lock and start. All right, so it did all her features and it did the placement stitch for her nose. So I'm gonna cut up a little bit of gold glitter and stick it on there. So here's the glitter. I put some glue on the back of it so that way um, it doesn't move. So I'm gonna stick it right there where her nose is and let the machine do its work. I'm gonna take it out. And now that we're done, it really doesn't matter where you take it off, but here, I'm gonna rip it off. And there's the finished product, you guys. And gently rip it off. I set my heat press up to 350 degrees. I know some of you guys like to do it at 320, but I use 350, I feel like I get the best results. And I'm gonna put my little piece of parchment paper on top and let it go for 20 seconds. I bought this heat press recently, and you guys, I am obsessed. I used to do the Cricut and um, it was kind of a little annoying to be honest with you. So this one, I just push it in and it does it all by itself and then it releases when it's done. It's really great, especially for those of you that have a lot of orders going in and you don't have time to take it out immediately and wait for it for 20 seconds. So I do recommend it. I'll link it down below in my description. All right, here's the final product. So I think my daughter's gonna like it. I have the white glitter, the pink glitter, the red glitter, the gold glitter, and her facial features. It looks pretty good. You can see that pretty shine. And all of the glitter I used is off Amazon. I feel like they have the best prices and it's the best quality. So some of the quality um, glitters that you can get can really junk up your machine and like get like nasty stuff in your machine and you don't want that. So you want to use good quality glitter. I do look at wholesale glitters but they're all much more expensive than the ones I get from Amazon. So I'll link those down below. And here it is. I think she's gonna love it. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It looks pretty good. I think she's gonna like it. And now that I shared what I know, you guys can start doing this too. I'm gonna link everything I used today's, in today's video down below. That's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.